what like, the nature and how the events would be organized, these kind of restrictions have been imposed by the state government, which is why uh, we have organized in this uh, limited edition. But still, uh, uh, since day one, uh, we have been receiving positive responses from the participants. And yet today also, we have uh, beautiful students from Mizoram Institute of uh, Comprehensive Education, MICE. So to the students and all teachers from MICE, we welcome you. And thank you so much for sparing your time. I hope today will be a very fruitful session uh, to all of you. And uh, we'll be having uh, lectures, and as you can see, uh, uh, demonstrations, some you know, scientific demonstrations will be uh, done by one of our colleagues. And then after that, we'll have the exhibitions. And also, again, uh, I would like to express our, our gratitude to the um, exhibitors from Government Mizou High School, Atar Tinkering Lab, the, our local innovators, and to Mizoram Remote Sensing Application Center also uh, for showcasing your products, your innovative ideas. And it has been already uh, a wonderful journey, I should say. Uh, the past two days have been already uh, a wonderful experience for all who come here to uh, celebrate, to be a part of uh, you know, this celebration. And uh, Vigyan Prasar, uh, I'm not quite sure whether students you might have uh, heard about Vigyan Prasar. It's an autonomous body under the Department of Science and Technology, Government of India, that has been working for science communication and popularization uh, for the past decades. And uh, this is not your first, I suppose, in Mizoram. Okay, uh, we already had the SciConnect program, uh, which was a very successful one, uh, wherein students from the Northeast, from uh, different states of Northeast come together. They have some competition, bring out their innovative ideas. And the main idea of the program was to instill the scientific uh, temperament in the minds of young students. And again, so we hope to, you know, uh, we look forward to having such kind of program again in the future. And okay. When I hear a Hey, Tong, Ka, Kema, Kachon, Kan, Mangpol, Nong, Nong, Nakina, Pom, Midang, Pon, and Manpol, Mate, Ya, E, Achana, Ju, E, Kan, Kema, Ni, Tong, Vekati, Taylor, Chinna, Ni, Wang, Khan, E, Kan, In, Chetiam, Tura, Kangaya, Student, Te, Poin, E, In, Lo, Kala, Lom, Tu, Kan, Soi, Mol, Mola, Hun, Limom, Tang, Mang, Turin, Kan, Du, Chewa, E, When, I, Yan, Ngai, Ngai, Tat, Ringot, Tur, Khan, Kan, Som, Lo, Chewa, Ni, Nakina, Interact, Son, Te, Kan, Ya, Nga, Zo, Na, Zo, Hun, Te, Po, O, Manga, Tin activity can hand the other people participate to ten can in some donor. So, when I saw one Zaklovin, the thing, oh, in Sashung Milovin, a Vena here in Tan, in Poland, a program, and he bought say any tissue a can, a cutting a can, Mintel Puiturin, can some, Cheva, a Engpon young, can certain lecture and so any more at a demonstration can tin the Kina Hilaya can call CMT, Pocho, the Po, can hand in Huna, the Po can. Interaction, ka niya ang yani ngampat ka di may ang mo kati ang hun mang turhan e kan du sak cewa kan som cewa log na tam thiang ber insar cewa ka kan dua ni di ka e kan soy non le ni cu okay so with that I conclude the welcome address from my side and once again welcome and greetings to all and I hope you have a wonderful day ahead thank you. Thank you, Mr. Joel Biakima. And now, with immense pleasure, I request Dr. Shardul Wak, Assistant Professor and Head, Department of Biochemistry, Kamla Nehru Mahavidyalaya, Nagpur, to give the team lecture. Hello.
Hello, am I audible? Okay, very good morning to one and all. Honorable Chairman, distinguished guest, and the entire Mystic team, thank you so much for inviting me. And I'm very much uh, grateful to Vigyan Prasar also for nominating me for this uh, today's theme lecture. So as an introduction, they all say that I'm an assistant professor of uh, one of the important or uh, well-known colleges in Maharashtra. I came from all the way from Nagpur. Nagpur is famous for? Are you aware of it? Orange. Yeah, it's an orange city. Okay, so I represent the orange city as well as the place where zero mile exists. Okay, from where the counting of miles starts. Okay, so okay, uh, fine. I'll be here. So, Vigyan Sarvatra Pujyate, okay? Be relaxed, okay? Be relaxed. Don't get scared of me, okay? Although my name is Shardul Vag, the meaning of my first name is a lion who is in attacking position. Do I look so? No. Vag means a tiger. Again, I'm a human being, so please don't worry about it. Okay, Vigyan Sarvatra Pujyate is a science week festival organized by Government of India, Ministry of Culture and Principal Office of uh, Scientific Advisor and Vigyan Prasar along with all these things. This one is forward. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. So sometimes technology doesn't allow you to work efficiently, right? So you you should know that you are superior. Fine. So the major objectives of Vigyan Sarvatra Pujyate mission is to celebrate science and technological achievements over this past 75 years. Okay. Why 75 years? We are celebrating 75th Independence Day. Okay, so it's an Amrut Mahotsav. So just to commemorate and acknowledge the development done by all the great people for building this nation. Uh, to bring the four stories of people to, in science who made... Pointer is in between? Middle one? Okay, fine. Okay. And that we know about them because over the period of time when things goes forward, we keep on losing the information what had happened in the past and then to reinforce the commitment of the scientific community towards the economic and social development of the country. Okay? India is a country of youngsters. The future of country is in your hand. You are the aspiring and the burning scientist and the nation building elements of the country. Okay? And that to highlight the work being done by R&D organizations from across the country and the ideas. And that refers to the road for 2047 to celebrate the sentinel celebration of this independence. Uh, the entire program is based on four themes, annals of science, then milestones of modern science and technology, 
then swadeshi paramparik inventions and innovations where we will be promoting the own heritage and the info, uh, things which are been developed and invented by the region and then transforming india okay so coming back to my topic it's uh, milestones modern science and technology i have mentioned these two pictures one is here that shows like how from the stone age uh, the developmental starts and now we work with the all the gadgets we all have okay including this pointer also on the other side you can see the size of an earlier telephone and the size of the brain at that time and as we keep on developing ourselves the size of brain starts reducing we have a mobile phone having almost huge battery right huge backup we always talk about what is the internal storage and what is the capacity of extended memory why we are talking about that extended memory because on the other side you can see the size of your brain is getting shrinken because we hardly remember the numbers okay so we have to think about the both the sides what is science and technology can anybody explain us so let it be an interactive session okay so because ultimately you are going to be a part of that milestones next time probably few of you from this uh, session may be focus on this uh, kind of a uh, banners here looking okay we are observing it so basically science and technology oh sorry is the study of how social political and cultural values affect scientific research and technological innovation and how these in turn affect society politics and culture the any development any innovation has to be correlate and have a direct impact on social cultural and political sectors okay and that is a term of art used to encompass the relationship between science and technology and that is why we said that science and technology is not a single term it is a representation of your social behavior your cultural values and the political system okay are they separate with each other are these three terms are separate with each other science technology and innovation they work hand in hand okay they work hand in hand with with few what you can say contributions science and technology do have a contributions towards innovation okay without knowing without having the knowledge about any topic okay without having knowledge about the subject we won't think much on it okay and we cannot use the technology because ultimately innovation is the use of technology for developing beneficial things so what is the first contribution knowledge a direct source of ideas for new possibilities if you don't have a knowledge about how the wheel works you won't be probably you won't be able to use it right are you getting it are you getting it you have a camera but you don't have a battery in it will that work it will not right then this is the source of tools and techniques for more efficient engineering design and knowledge base for evaluation of feasibility of design if you don't know how to mark a straight line how to mark a, how to draw a square how to draw a triangle you won't be able to design it okay yesterday i have seen a few experiments over here they made the sensors and they are the very good sensors they made it but if we don't know what is anode what is cathode and how that circuit works probably you won't be able to use those sensors or you cannot make them okay then it also helps you to use the instrumentation laboratory techniques and analytical methods to design or practice 
in our routine classroom we keep on reading the experiments right we keep on reading the experiments for the sake of moment we understood it but after all after that without doing the experiments probably you won't not able to remember it or the recall it okay here is also a lot of things are available but do you know the name of it can you name this what is it called is it is a beaker okay what is the use of a beaker why this notch is here for the beaker why this notch is here for the beaker this is an importance of knowledge that you should have the knowledge without that notch you won't able to pour it okay you may pour it but it may spill out okay but this notch notch helps you to pour the liquid or the content properly okay and that is what the knowledge is important then the practice of research and assimilation of new human skills and capabilities eventually useful for the technology okay you should know how to practice it you should know how to handle your camera how to handle your laptop okay do we require the practice of using your smartphones now it is everyone is carrying smartphones right you all have a smartphone right what's your name okay which smartphone you are using redmi redmi okay did you take a formal training of it no then how you start using it Huh? from observing others from observing others so scientific is a thorough observation science is a thorough observation right that means simply by doing thorough observations you can start efficiently using it right then the creation of knowledge base and become important in the assessment of wider social and environmental impact you have to create a knowledge base okay you all might be seeing a lot of posters are presented here it is not just a poster they it is a source of knowledge in your leisure time please have a look each every poster they made so critically they made it and they are so imp informative okay so that itself is a knowledge okay then knowledge enables more efficient strategies of applied research development and reinforcement of new technologies we know the technology using that technology you can develop the new one okay this is how the science and technology contributes in the innovation while well, coming back to the track okay a uh, century of the genius how innovation starts and how it progress okay have you seen this name do you feel they are familiar name to you few of them or many of them come on speak up okay so we can say that the century of genius is also emerged during the 18th century okay 18th century is called as a century of genius because from that time the scientific information started recording okay earlier every country every era there are people who are aware of the science they have a technological information but that was not documented okay that was not documented and since this 18th century it has started documenting and that is why we call it as a century of the genius because every person who used to work who started working at their different locations they started reporting it to the world they started communicating so the communication is very important part of your journey of life without communication it is not possible okay you all might have seen the ads bolne se sari cheeze aasan ho jati hai you have to just pick it up this era is also called as enlightenment e period okay and the age of enlightenment is also known as age of reason why 
So before entering into the scientific field, you should start asking the questions yourself, why? Okay, the same why could not let Newton to sleep well. And that is why he started focusing on why objects are falling down, right? That is the beginning of uh, Newton's law of, Newton's law of, Newton's law of gravity. How many laws Newton's discovered? One, two, three, four, five, six. Three laws are famous, right? Fine. We are not, I'm not here to examine you or conduct your exam, okay? So please don't worry. So technological changes which had happened during in the 18th century was use of new basic materials, iron and steel, use of new energy sources, invention of new machines, new organization of work known as a factory system because industrialization was started, then important developments in transportation and communication, increasing applications of science to the industry. So the sixth part is very important. Okay, you have a knowledge, you have invented a lot many things, but if it is not at all applicable to this sort of society, it's in when. Okay, it's in when. So, whenever you think about entering into inventions or development, think on the prospectives of its application. Okay. Well, let's see if you, uh, what you can say, the developments. Okay. But please mind well, it is not a general knowledge class. Okay, just have to expose you. So way back in 18, uh, 1765, the first steam engine was made by James Watt. We all have seen it, right? Then based on the steam engine, railway engine was constructed with few modifications and 1804, Richard Thriftick improved James Watt's system engine, uh, steam engine and used it for transport. See, one who discovered the engine was modified by someone else and that has been used for the transport. That means community, okay, for the benefit of a society, okay. Then based on that, Robert Fulton put the steam engine on water. Okay, he put the steam engine on the water and made first steam boat. So, the first engine which is established on the platform or the solid surface converted into a mobile track, okay, on a track. So, it gives a mobilization and then it's bring out on the water and that helps us to open what another way of transport so does that mean there wasn't any sailors previously sailors were there sailors used to sail the seas right we have already seen they used to sail the seas with this old types of ships right with all big curtains and everything he made it steamboat mechanical involvement then in 1826 27 photography was discovered followed by 1844 telegraph this was for the transportation okay here this photography helps us to record okay for maintaining the information and then the communication era starts. So, in 1844, telegraph was developed by Samuel Morse and the codes which we use is Morse code, right? It's a very good uh, way of communication. 1876, there's the development of discovery of telephone and this is how the phone, telephone has been transformed, okay? So this is the first Alexander Graham Bell who discovered this telephone first model. Then in 1880s, it turns out to into this receiver and cradle. And now we have entire world with us, okay? 
we have entire world with us we have multiple sims ported into it multiple information it's like a pocket computer with us okay so this is what how it develops now future we don't know then in 1876 internal combustion engine was uh, developed by nicholas otto so what is the difference between steam engine and internal combustion engine was the use of fuel okay in steam engine only the steam used to use now here in combustion engine fuel started using it then 1879 electric light then automobile development in 1885 where carl benz used this one cylinder engine then marconi discovered radio so here followed that communication and transport system started evolving okay because everyone started developing and the working behind it and 8 1926 rocketry science was discovered developed and then we can see 1937 computer nuclear power then transistors followed by space flight personal computers 1974 is internet then 2012 is a crispr gene silencing technology and 2017 is an artificial intelligence okay okay out of which this artificial intelligence technology is important as well as dangerous too are you aware of it artificial intelligence technology how it works can anyone explains see don't worry nothing is wrong and nothing is perfect okay this is the basic rule of this world so don't feel shy or uncomfortable what will happen if i may be wrong how artificial intelligence work you all must be browsing some information on internet right through your mobile huh? many of you must be having your accounts on instagram yes even me to have instagram account so whenever we browse anything it gets recorded and that artificial intelligence will start pushing messages or con related content to you okay so that records the data okay fine so so far we have seen the contribution by the scientists in the world now coming back to the country contributions of indian scientists in science and technology so my first question is can you identify this person so there is a reward also right can you guess it will that be okay if i remove this i can remove it no? yeah Yes, can you guess? Right now, you can see me. <laughs> uh, yeah, can you guess this person? Yes or no? Yes. Who says? Please stand up. What's your name? Please, please tell everyone so that they can. CV Raman. CV Raman. Just a moment. Yes, yes, yes. Please, please. <laughs> Okay please clap for him he is the winner of first prize yes see the prize now if you want it you have to answer <laughs> congratulations yes is there so cv raman the few interesting facts about cv raman sir he got a gold medal he published his first research paper at the age of 17 I published my first research paper at the age of 32. Right? This is how your focus makes you determination. Okay? He was so determined towards the science 
and towards his passion that he published his first research paper at the age of 17 and he is well known for the discovery of Raman effect and that is on February 28, 1928. See the coincidence. 28 February year 1928 and that is why we celebrate National Science Day on 28th of February. Is that clear? He is the winner of Nobel Prize in 1930 for the same work and that effect is called as Raman effect. Okay. He is a Sir Chandrasekhar Venkat Raman. So congratulations to you. Okay. Next is Subramanyam Chandrasekhar. He is also a physicist. He shared his Nobel Prize in 1983 with William Flower, Flower for theoretical studies of the physical process of importance of the structures and evolution of the stars. So he worked on the stars evolution, okay, and he shared his Nobel Prize. And the best part is, he was a nephew of C.V. Raman. Okay, so you can say that the legacy has been transferred. Okay. Question number two. Do you know? I'll get it. <laughs> Yes. What is he known for? Sawa like chocolate or a gift ka hai. Har Gobind Singh Khurana, okay, is one of the great Indian scientists. What is he known for? <laughs> yes, anyone? Don't scroll, don't search it, don't Google it. <laughs> Yes, have you heard the name Hargobind Singh Kurana? No, fine. Is an, so, if you Google an answer, you will not get chocolate. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, so, shall I give it to the one or let it be? Because many of them have started Googling. <laughs> okay, yeah, the time stops. Hargobind Singh Kurana is known for, is a well known biochemist is an indian american biochemist is known for artificial synthesis of nucleic acids are you aware of nucleic acids come on no nucleic acids fine it's a artificial gene synthesis okay nucleic acids dna deoxyribonucleic acid right he has synthesized artificial nucleic acids and which helps to carry the genetic codes of the cells and control the cell synthesis of protein. So he got a Nobel for it. Well, question number three. Now please don't Google. Jagdish Chandra Bose, what is he known for? Which instrument he had invented? Come on, guys. Jagdish Chandra Bose. No? He was not just a biologist. He was a physicist and a botanist too. He had contributed very important part in the botany. He had invented one instrument. Using that instrument, Two scientists received Nobel. Unfortunately, he didn't get the Nobel Prize. This is an irony. Come on, speak up. No Googling? <laughs> okay. He himself discovered and pioneered some instruments into microwave optics, and investigation of radio and microwave optics and he made a significant contributions in plant science okay 
he had invented an instrument called as crescograph that instrument which is used for monitoring the growth of the plant how will you monitor the growth of a plant it's because of the crescograph it is an equipment which is used for monitoring the growth of a plant as well as his work an invention based on the crescograph he interpreted that the power of feelings in plant plants do have feelings if somebody scolds you what will you do you get sick right the same thing happens with the plant so the power of feeling is there in the plant and that has been accepted by the world okay next question who is this gentleman acharya prafulla chandra ray yes i heard something from this side acharya prafulla chandra ray he is an indian chemist okay what is his best contribution for country yes guys no googling <laughs> no good i appreciate can you guess acharya prafulla chandra ray he is the first indian who established india's first chemical industry pharmaceutical industry and the name is bengal chemicals and pharmaceuticals okay bengal chemicals and pharmaceutical is the industry established by acharya prafulla chandra ray and he is the it is the first pharmaceutical industry okay also he received a chemical landmark plaque outside the europe because of his contribution towards the field of chemistry see if you work harder if you contribute a lot for the not only for the subject but for the community your work will be well appreciated yes do you know about him do you know about him shri nivas ramanujan i guess this is the subject which many of us don't like her huh? is a great mathematician is it so an indian mathematician who lived during british rules in india he had a great contributions to mathematical analysis number theory infinite series and continued fractions okay these are the great mathematics uh, inventions and he is the first indian to be elected a fellow of trinity college of cambridge and it used to be a great honor to elect as a fellow of any society okay fellow of royal societies and we observe 22nd december is a national mathematics day okay next question identify the gentleman no nobody wants it <laughs> so i guess uh, they want us to carry all this with us only <laughs> yes can you identify this gentleman well next thing he was an indian nuclear physicist and who played a major role for establishment of greatest inst institution that is tata institute of fundamental research tifr next thing he is known for father of indian nuclear program so whatever progress our country has done or made since last 75 years in the nuclear energy and nuclear power he is the man behind it okay he is the man behind it can you name can you name him come on tell us even if you are wrong no issues yes he is homi jahangir bhava okay he is homi jahangir bhava sahi tha 
यू वर राइट राइट वॉश यू तो साइंस इज ऑल अबाउट नेवर हाइड योर आंसर्स ओके वॉट एवर काम्स रिपोर्ट इट वॉट एवर यू ऑब्जर्व यू मस्ट रिपोर्ट इट ओके द वन हु रिपोर्ट फर्स्ट विल गेट द क्रेडिट ऑफ इट एंड दिस इज द बेस्ट पार्ट ऑफ आई पी आर ओके यू हैव टू डॉक्यूमेंट इट एंड रिपोर्ट इट इमीजिएटली सो होमी जहांगीर भाभा वॉज ऑल्सो ए फाउंडिंग डायरेक्टर ऑफ एटोमिक एनर्जी एस्टैब्लिशमेंट ट्रॉम्बे and the tifr okay atomic energy research center trombe is the special designated laboratory to work on nuclear reactors nuclear physics okay and he was a strong supporter of developing and establishing nuclear capacity power by a country not for the destruction but for the development okay he got adams prize in 1942 and padma bhushan in 1954 and was also nominated for nobel prize twice in the year 1951 and 53 to 56 he was the one who dared to write a letter to then prime minister pandit jawahar lal nehru as stating his intention about the establishment of nuclear reactors and nuclear laboratory okay and then no Prime Minister Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru called him. He listened all his the road map and gave a permission. Okay. Satyendra Nath Bose, one of the well acclaimed scientists of India. He again he was a theoretical physics. Is the one who collaborated his work with the Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein is famous for huh no Albert Einstein is famous for is famous for theory of relativity okay theory of he had quoted a famous equation see i want to distribute those chocolates and pens here What is that equation? Very good. Please have a big clap for her. Ha! Ah, now I feel relaxed because my hand started paining carrying that gift. Okay. Huh? Diya to? Hat me leke ghum raha tha tab se. Okay. Good. So this Satyendra Nath Bose, how he started work. see we are talking about your dedication your development towards science and research his fascination he was very fascinated towards the research he wrote albert einstein he was very much impressed with his work and he got a permission to translate his research papers into english okay and then he built the repo and then he started working over it and they worked so harder that they come out with the particles what we call them as a bose einstein condensate or we call it as a boson or god's particle okay these are the god's particle and he was awarded with the padma bhushan in 1954 he was the head of department of physics at dhaka university now the beauty is here unfortunately satyendranath bose could not pursue completed his phd we know that the phd is very important degree if you want to work in the university however the work had which he had done was very great work but the degree was not having even though he was made head of the department of physics of dhaka university after getting recommendation letter straight away from the einstein so if you don't get one thing at one side but if you have a well credit of research probably your supervisor will take you to a new destination so you you should have a very strong collaborators with you and that is why science or innovation is not one person's job it's a team work okay another thing is that 
Satyendranath Bose was a strong promoter of imparting basic science knowledge into a regional language. Okay? Because he, you are very well connected with your regional language and unfortunately the scientific information is well written or documented in the English. So many people, many agencies are working on it for converting into a regional language and I guess Mystic should take a uh, step towards for uh, converting it. Probably you all might have done it, but please take it into the simplified words. Then another greatest scientist is Meghnath Saha. He was in astrophysics and worked on the Saha ionization equation and that helps for the understanding the chemical and physical conditions of the stars. See, setting in land and working with the stars that too by understanding the chemical and physical condition that is really a commendable job what Meghnath Saha has done and this Saha ionization equation create a landmark in the field of astrophysics <laughs> then he helped to build several scientific institutions like Department of Physics in Allahabad University and Institute of Nuclear Physics in Calcutta and now this nuclear Institute of Nuclear Physics in Calcutta is now renamed as a Saha, Meghnath Saha Institute of Nuclear Physics. Okay, he was also elected as an MP. Okay, he was not just a scientist, but he entered into the public services. Okay, and there also he worked harder regarding promoting and establishing the rehabilitation, the refugee rehabilitation, then multi-purpose river projects and flood control by using his scientific knowledge. Birbal Sahani, again he is a paleobotanist. Okay. Paleobotany is a branch where you can work on the fossils. Okay. Fossils of plants. Yeah. The next question. This man, can you name him? See, this is the sixth question and I, I just gave two gifts. Can you name this fellow? Just tell us loudly if you know, okay? You know him? You know him? No? No? Anyone? Don't you recognize this fellow? Nahi pata hai? No googling? <laughs> okay. The picture which is shown there He is the man behind the architecture of Param Supercomputer Series. He is the one who made brain behind establishing Param, a supercomputer made by our country. He is a Padma Bhushan, Padma Shri and Maharashtra Bhushan Awardee. He is from Maharashtra. I am proud to say that we stay is hardly 150 kilometers away from him. Uh, each other. He is currently he is the Chancellor of Nalanda University since 2017 and his name is Dr. Vijay Bhatkar. Okay. Dr. Vijay Bhatkar is a well known name, very famous name in the field of IT computing. Okay. He has established a CDAC institution which is totally focused for the computer literacy. Equally, he is uh, promoting of Jai Jawan, Jai Kisan, Jai Vigyan. Okay? He says that he is a promoter of holistic approach of science and development towards instead of having a unidirectional approach, it should have a multidimensional approach. So he is a Dr. Vijay Bhatkar. No need of explaining. Right? People's President, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. Can you name his full name? How much time I have, sir? It's almost. Okay. Can you name his full, full name? <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. Please have a big crowd. I'll give you the chocolate, sir. <laughs> Thank you. 
আবুল পাকের জানব নাদিন আব্দুল কালাম হি ওয়ার্ক হার্ডার ফর ইসরো অ্যান্ড ডিআরডিও মোর দ্যান ফোর ডিকেটস অ্যাজ উই অল নো হিজ অটোবায়োগ্রাফি দেন হি ইজ অথর অফ ফেমাস বুকস হি হ্যাড অথর অফ মেনি বুকস বাট টু বুকস আর ভেরি ফেমাস and i insist that every one of you who is sitting here must read these books wings of fire and ignited minds okay he was a dreamer and he always says that don't dream big dream short small sorry don't dream small big dream uh, have a big dreams and don't sleep until you achieve that big dream okay he was a president and he was a teacher too now the reason behind posting this picture being a president he is a supreme commander of our armed forces right he is a supreme commander of our armed forces and it was his dream to be a pilot it was his dream to be a pilot and he failed twice in ssb interview conducted by indian air force the last interview which was held in amdabad after failing that interview he reached to the bank of river and had a thought to commit suicide because his only intention was to have that wings but all of a sudden all of a sudden his mind get ignited what happened if i won't get the wings i will contribute my services to make india's wing stronger and then he work harder for isro and drdo and he was the brain behind the nuclear test both including 1947 the first nuclear test at the pokhran and in 1998 the second pokhran test okay in both the cases there were two different presidents and first pokhran Shrimati Indira Gandhi was the first uh, the president of in, uh, prime minister of india and in 1998 atal bahadur was the prime minister of india right atal bahadur bajpayee then he became the first principal scientific advisor of government of india and being a supreme commander of country he wore that and he had a flight in sukhoi so at the age plus 60 he wore that g suit hai na because of his mind was ignited so i insist i urge everyone to read these two books and he has a very famous comic quote what was that the best brains in the nation may be found on the last bench of the classroom last bench of the classroom doesn't mean that from tomorrow onwards you start sitting at the last bench saying that we have the best brains no okay fine next question who is she anandi bhai gopal joshi so far we talked about the male community now we'll talk about the women power anandi bhai joshi is india's first woman physician she was trained in the trinity school with the western medicines and for that her husband supported in the era when male dominating system was there then janki ammal was the first indian scientist received padma shri award and she was a director general of botanical survey of india she contributed lot of things about the cellular behavior and the phytogeography related with the plants kamla sohani first indian woman to have a phd degree and she was refused to take up as a phd student okay however professor c v raman took her as a phd student and she became the first indian woman to get the phd degree she discovered that every cell of plant tissue contains enzyme cytochrome c which was involved in the oxidation of plant system so whenever we studied oxidation okay 
cytochrome C plays and the cytochrome C is present in all every living cell. Another name Asima Chatterjee, she was an Indian chemist and she is known for her work in the organic chemistry and she works on the Vinca alkaloids, wind blasting, wind crystal, wind, obtained from the Vinca rosea. Okay, the flower is periwinkle flower, and that work was based on the anti-cancer properties, study of anti-cancer properties. And Rajeshwari Chatterjee, she is the first Indian woman from the state of Karnataka, and she studied in the University of Michigan with this uh, degree in the electrical engineering. And then she started uh, working with this electrical communication engineering in Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, where they work with the, she and her husband, they work with the microwave research laboratory. Okay, and they worked on the microwave engineering. Right. This name has been taken very respectfully in the field of uh, medicine, Dr. Indira Ahuja for developing this gift technology. Okay, gift technology is what? is the gamete intrafallopian transfer. This is a, one of the technique where IVF, in vitro fertilization has been done. Okay. <coughs> then she was the lady who delivered second test to baby in KM hospital. She is from Mumbai. Okay. And uh, she also uh, credited for the developing the oocyte donation technique for menopausal and premature ovarian failure patients. Uh, this is for the development or the, you can say that uh, infertility issue. She addressed to the infertility issues of the uh, women and she helped them to develop baby. Well, let's come to the modern now, modern era. Can you, heard the, can you uh, identify the name? Nandini Harinath. Nandini Harinath. No? Oh, what was movie, tha, sir? What was the movie? Vidya Balan played a role. <laughs> you know, Vidya Balan is a Bollywood actress. She played her role in one of the latest movies. You know Vidya Balan? No? Okay. She was the director of Mass Orbital Mission, Mangalyan. She was the director of Mass Orbital Mission, Mangalyan. Okay. Then, along with that, she worked over 14 missions in 20 years at ISRO and has various research publications on her name. So she made a path. She led a path for the women scientists to progress themselves irrespective of the subjects. Okay, and she has become a source of inspiration and encouragement also. Well, next question. Tessie Thomas. Do you know her? Tessie Thomas. No? No Googles? You can Google it now. <laughs> <laughs> she is known for the missile women of India. As like APJ Abdul Kalam, he is known for the missile man of India. This Stacey Thomas is known for the missile women of India. She had participated many projects where missile development program was conducted and she was a part of project director of Agni 4 missile. Okay, intercontinental ballistic missile. Last question. A billionaire entrepreneur. She was listed the 65th most powerful woman in the world of Forbes and is def definitely one of the most famous women in science. She is the chairperson and managing director of Biocon Pharmaceuticals. Can you name the lady?
is one of the strongest entrepreneur of the India. She is Kiran Majumdar Shah. Okay, the founder, president, and the chairman of Biocon Industries. Okay, you might have seen that I have taken a lot of male scientists and very few female scientists. Why so? I am not a gender biased person. Okay, I I do respect the females as well as the male scientists. I do have a great respect to the females because they are not just working in the lab, but they have to take care of their home and the family too. So it's their commendable job. But why so? The reason behind it that many talented persons they offer very less of them offer the science after the school. Okay. So the current scenario is that 3.6 percent of ta talented students opt for the science. Only 175 out of every million people in India opt to become scientists. When we compare it with the country like Britain, U.S., and Japan, see the percentage, and that is why the research rate is very less. Okay. However, we have a very democratic, unique demographic advantage of having largest young population in the coming decades. So. Progressing or developing your science temperament is very important. Okay, government has already decided and uh, encouraged, established so many schemes, so many institutions and fellowship programs. So you all should avail of it. Inspire program is one of the important program where the students can take part. Okay. Okay. The last statement made by the C. V. Raman is that good science was not created merely by spending money, starting laboratories, and passing orders. More important was the human element, and if quantity replaces quality, then disaster will surely follow. So we don't want the quantity; we want the quality in it. Okay? Effective utilization of resources is very important for the science and technology. Okay, even you you might have seen that the lot of scientists they work in the British rule in India or era where the facilities were limited, but they didn't stop. So Jagdish Chandra Bose he didn't have a facility, he didn't get the instruments available at that time, so he utilized his knowledge of physics, his knowledge of mathematics, and he constructed equipments by himself to carry out his own work. Okay, so that thing has to be pursued by ourselves. And before pursuing, you should ask three questions yourself. This could be your take-home message: Why I am doing this? How I am going to do uh, do this? And for whom I am going to do this? The moment you ask, uh, able to answer these three questions effectively, you are ready to enter into the world of science and. Invention. With this note, I would like to say thank you to everyone. Uh, this is my contact details. You can catch me anytime, anywhere. With this, okay. So thank you so much for your patience listening. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, you can ask. But I'm a little disappointed. I have to carry all these things with me. Anyways. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Dr. Shardul Wok, for the enlightening presentation. I would now like to invite our distinguished chief guest, Sri Sachin Narwadia, scientist D, Vigyan Prasar, and coordinator of Vigyan Savatra Pujayate in Northeast India, to give a so short speech. Thank you, uh, Madam. Uh, I offer my gratitude to chairman and a nice lecture by Dr. Shardul Wag. He came long way from Nagpur, which is uh, far away from here. Then I express uh, my hon honor to chairman who coordinated the program well. The my topic is. Uh, 
career in science. Actually, what happened uh, when we take the admission in science, the society thinks, oh, now children will become engineer or doctor. Not other thought will come in anybody else. And uh, children also think in like that on line only. Ki they have to do engineering or doctor. Uh, some less percentage of children goes for basic sciences or research. So we have to change the conception, uh, concept of taking science. Actually, science has lots of uh, different, different courses. Uh, in that, uh, paramedical courses are there, lots of technology courses are there which can able to give you a bread and butter as well as a good job also in government as well as in private. So I'm uh, highlighting some of the courses which can uh, you opt if you opt and you can take. Then uh, you will face lesser competition while getting the job and uh, easily you can excel the life with a successful career. In that, uh, Ames Delhi, Ames uh, is uh, opened in many of the cities in India, like a, uh, All India Medical Institute of Medical Sciences, uh, All India Medical, All India Institute of Medical Sciences, where uh, lots of paramedic courses are there, like um, uh, technician, lab technician, then um, OT technician, dental technician, and. Um, Perfusion technology is also a course which is uh, quite uh, um, in demand in healthcare industry, but uh, nobody knows about what it is. Actually, when a uh, surgeon does the heart operation, bypass surgery, the heart is uh, uh, stopped for some, some period of time. And the, in place of heart, some machine works the work of heart. That machine is called heart-lung machine. This heart-lung machine uh, pumps the blood also as well as mixes with his oxygen. And the uh, operator who is operating the machine is called perfusion technologist. And uh, for one operation, easily uh, perfusion technology can get five to 6,000 rupees per day. So it's a very good uh, and lucrative job in this area. area. After a Bachelor of Science, you can uh, go for perfusion technology course and uh, do a one, a one year course and after just BSc three years and one year more, you will get a good job opportunities. Lots of uh, uh, universities, uh, uh, lots of uh, scholarships are also there who offer fellowships for uh, the study purpose. And uh, these fellowships are available to all Indians because of uh, we are Commonwealth country. So Commonwealth Fellowship is available. In the, uh, by availing that fellowship, you can go and study to uh, in United Kingdom, Kingdom. So that's the facility we have. We have to just uh, go and search for Commonwealth Fellowship on Google. You read down all the criteria they needed and uh, prepare accordingly your career. And they have lots of uh, different subject area for uh, providing fellowships in that uh, not about science. It will uh, cover other subjects also like MBA, business management, and all lots of subjects are there, computer science, lots of things are there. So you have to uh, devote time in search engine. You have to devote time for based out of the internet. Because uh, when uh, we saw internet and we saw Facebook, WhatsApp, social media, it's a uh, totally wastage of time. Because nothing fruitful came out of that. After spending lots of hours on these sites, you will uh, not get some fruitful things. But if you'll, uh, you will uh, try to go on DST websites, on Vigyan Pasar websites, or DST has 21 autonomous body in India. Lots of things they are doing, lots of opportunities are there. So if you devote by surfing their sites, you will definitely get something out of it. Something you, need, you will get 
which is more important for your future and career. So I'm only suggesting you ki that uh, you must now, after going to internet, try to see in a different area, try to see the job perspectives in the area you have to choose. Like uh, next 50 years, as Dr. Shardul well said, that artificial intelligence, data science, and uh, nanotechnology, interdisciplinary science, this all will be in high demand and will be the hot cake. You can pursue your education in such a way that you will get a good career profile in the later stage of life. So for that purpose, you have to prepare yourself from today. Your, your angle of thinking, your discussions among friends need to be like that. It should be constructive. It should be more fruitful. Your time is very important. Uh, you are not, all, us, all of us have very important time. And uh, once time is wasted, we, it's never come. And time is always, always more valuable than anything in the life. So we have a limited period of time on the earth. So we must, we must use this time in a better way. Next uh, is, uh, there are three uh, centers under DST, like Indo-German Science and Technology Center, which provides lots of scholarship, lots of uh, projects in bilateral mode, lots of PhDs and postdoc scholarships are available. Then SEFI Prize also one center, uh, which is uh, coordinating for France and Indo-France relationship. And this center also provides lots of scholarship, fellowships, as well as projects. Uh, under DST, one more center is there, Indo-US Center which is for uh, US, United States of America. And uh, that also uh, gives you opportunity to avail fellowships and uh, to go and study there and do your research work. Mm -hmm. So this, um, uh, apart from this, uh, there are lots of awards, comes time to time, uh, published time to time on DHT website. So you, all of you have to serve DHT websites on regular basis. For students also, there are inspired program for uh, 17 to 22 years of age of students. And uh, in that, if you take part, uh, you can uh, have opportunity to come up with your innovative ideas and to join uh, the, their program in Delhi in Pragati Medan. So these all need to be searched, need to be always updated and apply as soon as you get the opportunity. This is all about uh, sh my short lecture on career of science. Hope I enlighten your mind towards the searching and towards the uh, making your goal or aim of the life so that you will get a good job opportunities in future in science. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Thank you, Sri Sachin Narwadia, for the informative speech. I would now like to request Pula Ramoya, Education Assistant, Mizoram Science Center, to conduct hands-on science experiment. Hello. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, our chairman, our respected chief guest Sachinji, and our special guest Sadulji, and my colleagues and their students. So we're having some uh, science demonstration today. But uh, I'll speak in sometimes in Mizo, sometimes in Hindi, I think. So I think they are very uh, familiar with all these things. Uh, so sometimes I'll say in Mizo. Most of the my lecture will be on Mizo. I think students also 
Do you all understand Mizo? Yes, okay. Because I'm also more, much more comfortable in Mizo. So, okay, okay. Today we'll be having some uh, science demonstration. It's not, uh, I'll not say magic. Sometimes there is the same magic, but the rather I would say it's not a magic, just a demonstration of science, some science experiment or some chemical. So, in no way, can to ilum kana kira mila ulak saksela. Okay. In sight hado sila na sin kan. Pero bisan na pang boy chang na it's no ring zela. Trade ring po hin sight hado lava. Ang boy chang M M T na di. In trade ring po hin no ita ba. In chua kang po na in sight la zua zua om siya. Pero in zak kantila. Sak vak long mai thi sak mai thi boka ma se din choi kan khai thi ne em mai a he kan har sat na ni a see our student they are very uh, they are they are very good in understanding also but uh, we are having some this uh, not only uh, this student all of the mizoram uh, not only be mizo like uh, all not this student might be we are having we are very supposed if we know the answer also we are a little bit shy to express. Uh, standing up among the students. So that's our problem, and that we need to, uh, the big, what to say, hurdle we have to cross. So, when I hear, hey, a demonstration, chemical demonstration, they can they got to an adang tepo, and they can they real to Tolonga, a atlite and real potram met here. Hello, and two can they do. To you, hello, and Kali, pay donor, hey, bomb, he, I in China, and Kali don't care. Chin kan kan hou tu pa shen lu kui zuk zuk ka ai lei em ti ka kan lao kou ba kan lei don ni ta hen hei tui in mu a he lai mi a color a rong lu dang lam dan he kan in don ni color change lu om ka a rong in mu tu lo ai dang em ให้ดังเชี่ยวเราเดือดตัวเราดังเลยอ่ะตอนนี้กันเตียงอ่ะเราดังเลยตาอ่ะตาเพื่อช่วยเราดังเลยตาตัวเราตุ้ยปากหัดเชี่ยวขาดตุ้ยเฮตมีตุ้ยเวกขาดเนี่ยกันเลยลูกขาดอารมณ์ขาดเราดังลำตาดิป้อนเจนี่ขาไฮสคูลเงี้ยเฮียร์เฮียร์ตัวเราเอ็งยินรินเลย In wang halo umgen diang. He he temi tui pakat kan dia tak kalah ilu dia dia kan ngah tinggal udang lam tak kalah change kalau om. Oh, aku pu. Ka, aku pu cun soi mai sin tro. Rong 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 ni dah ni yang ati. Acha ni krim, handrin krim krim teu sih na. Acha ni kai soi tradu sih lewa. Loman kat kat kalau soi kalau cepat cewa hansi dari film tu yang lain dah ini oh helai ni kat tu dah ka universal indicator nanti ni he universal indicator ni ya cuan he mi ayen universal indicator film film kat tu acidic media mac cuan asentina basic media mana ikan arong he apol asent laut he apol tu ikan om cende Oh, di kan, koi, kalau lemeng. Thank you. Om nak rasa. Insya Allah tu lor. Emi kah universal indikit eng esit apa pun lejon head head tu hit esit film film ahian tahin leila asenang esit nena reaction ni kan asena basic ni kan cuan arong kah esidik tina ni tahian. Emi cium ahian sulfuric esit awam ni. He ta hiyan hydrochloric acid oma He ta hiyan Acetic acid ni yang Yang lau kha ni ya Vinegar ni ya Jon hei Heng chu a basic to ni Sodium hydroxide vel te po ni to nga Hei chu tle min ti khan a basic Ayng lau a basic A basic city gan ti don mi Kami kha a lau dang lam to trin ni In chat in chat ro in zir lai po om vek kha In zir nu vek kha ni Kakak insir mereka insoi tiem lo insoi tiem lo kah acah lo tiri ni, 
เตโรติคาอินเทเทมตงตโรเฮเตียงอินดิเคเตอร์ที่ครั้งครั้งออกมาอินิเวอร์ซัลอินดิเคเตอร์เตนเตียฟินอปเทลินเตนเตียไทม
pressure, room pressure, a constant, ah, can, so then again, yeah, are, a time, oh, I tam deo, let popo ilo, a chung a mi pressure ka, a temperature ka kan, ing lao don di, kan change don di, a temperature kan, kan change start hiyan, A temperature low for TLT la. A temperature a volcan, a volume a car, a decrease in it. Two one two and me of carbon dioxide on on car, a song te TLT la. The tacte can choke on it. So a room pressure bang a can a temperature can increase let her here. A pang can a volume call only in let her here. Ini dia betul. Formula kan ini semua. Atlet ini um. P V equal to. Kan dah tambah dua lagi. In mutam lau ini kerja. Han cie ve du de te na mem ka. En cie nu la mo he. Ka. A pu an ti ve cin ro o. Han cie ve cin te le. No lo zero le. O i zu koi lo la. A tu yi ka zu. O le. A som te ve gan di ka. Apa yang akan dah kacau nak cuma bila agak sekah, alau lian le tiel tiel langai ini ekspen langa, langai kan lu cuma le don ni. Hey, in muthai mo asau lahi, kut kor, hey buna hat lah deh, lek china ul sam deh bunci kan deh lewa. Hey, ini ulat tihian, asau bor bor mai ni. In mo em, in mo tiro ko, hei ka tlaak sin doon ni. Karan, meta nga, asom vik doon ni. A chan chu, na akhan tui om ta tiro, ka zuk chia ka na vod lutu ka, tui vod ka, alaw khal ta ni. A khal ka, tia kan me khan, a ke dap ta vik ni. So then she said, hey, ah, la umwe na chuk kan kuthi, kan kuthi su chia vete la kan kutha khan inge, inge tamper ka, nga taksa khan. Water, tiro, in za vel ngay ka. Som sari vel, tiro. Som sari percentage vel ka upta ka kuthi su chia tae la su tifang vang tae la chuan. Oh, ah, tam to khuk mai. Kan tin hok kang, ni minai tin hok lutuk min tia ka in chasung dewa. Boyan ti vete le. Ikut cie lo, ik tikan cie cie tu lo, ikut tu, jo eng lo jo kau cie tin mampu cie lo bang, oh han mete le, bang, ayat cie full lo, ayat cie na like tu, aw tikan ram aram vik cie le, cuan he he, ar aman na tam, eh macam tu lah cuan, eh liquid nitrogen tin mang lesan ni, til tam tak siem nan mang a, dam doy dam doy mi inzai nan tin tin nan, eh Hey, ini yang tercinta. Tiada til, til ini kah? Tiada til tercinta. Mall, kuar wang oh, kuar wang zai 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 mo anin siam mail thad nain tin do na tur ka tiang chi company ta kan mang na sai me mani liquid nitrogen hi chuan hela hen tui tui sa kan nei ni
ตีเฮียนให้ออกซิเจนคาร์บอนชั่วเจอร์เมนี่ออกซิเจนก็จุ่นหลอมชั่วเอ่ออกซิเจนก็ติไนโตรเจนคาไนโตรเจนเวปอ
Uh, thank you, Pula Ramoya. It was a great, great pleasure for all of us, for all of us to watch you conduct the uh, experiments. We have now come to the end of our program. I would like to express my gratitude to our chief guest, Sri Sachin Narwadia, for gracing us with your presence and for sharing your valuable inputs on career, gu career guidance. I would also like to thank our special guest, Dr. Shardu Wok, for coming all the way to ISO to give an interesting and informative theme lecture. I also thank Pula Ramoya for his practical demonstration. It was both fun and interesting. And also, I also express my thanks to all the students and teachers from MICE for attending today's program. We hope that this program was a fruitful one. While our officials uh, visit the exhibition stalls, the students and teachers uh, can enjoy the refreshment that we have prepared downstairs. Again, thank you all. No pangka in Maya refreshment Oma Tuna Kanin Indu Tuanin Inzuk Ainghal Tay.